What is the underlying reason for the furious reaction by the West to China's rise? What has China done that merits such opprobrium from the likes of U.S. Secretary of State Pompeo and U.S. President Trump, along with much of his opposition and the Western news media? The West, with its sordid history of colonialism and imperialism, its participation in the genocide of indigenous peoples, its disinformation campaigns meant to impose regime change on any nation that stands up to its interference and intervention, its oppression of its own national minorities, its self-admitted policy of spying on others, and its confessed proclivity to lie, cheat, and steal is in no position to condemn China, no matter what alleged policies it's said to pursue. Moreover, the allegations made against China are fabricated lies and slanders that twist the truth in a racist attempt to demonize and poison public opinion against her. As the U.S. thrashes about trying to revive its sinking economy, brought about by its inept response to the COVID-19 pandemic, Western political elites find themselves fearful of the loss of whatever shreds of credibility and authority they still possess. While the supposed leader of the Western world, U.S. President Donald J. Trump, finds himself more vulnerable than ever, with the prospect of electoral defeat placing him in personal jeopardy. He has created so many enemies, both at home and abroad, that he must fear vindictive reprisals if he and his party are defeated at the polls. Thus, he has intensified his vendetta against China and upped the ante in his anti-China rhetoric and his government's policies targeting China. He has placed sanctions on the legitimate trade in computer chips between U.S. and Chinese companies, exacerbating the U.S.-initiated trade war with China, imposed limitations on Chinese financial interactions within the U.S., threatened both legislation and executive orders that interfere in China's internal affairs by supporting separatists in Hong Kong, Taiwan, Xinjiang, and Tibet, and continued provocative actions against Chinese sovereignty in the East and South China Seas. What the U.S. and certain forces in the U.K. and the E.U. are attempting to do is put the Chinese genie back in the bottle. It wants China to either submit to Western dictates or return to its cocoon and be sequestered from the global economy and isolated diplomatically. But neither prospect is in the cards. China is here to stay and the Western powers had better learn to live with it. The 500-year holocaust of Western hegemony is quickly coming to an end and its demise is primarily the result of China's rise. Everything the U.S. does can and should be seen in that light. All U.S. actions against China are meant to preserve U.S. global hegemony and economic dominance established after the end of World War II. That is the only threat to U.S. interests that China embodies. But no matter how hard it tries to prevent China's continued rise, the West is bound to fail. And history has a knack for leaving losers behind in the dust.